Hi there, it's Ryan here from Funk, and today we're going to be looking at the pair of turbo blankets for the BMW M4, M3 and M2 competition pack. These are both available in titanium like you see here, as well as carbon fibre. They both perform exactly the same, it just comes down to personal preference. These are created using the all-new Mark III turbo blanket construction, which is designed for increased durability and improved insulation. This can actually work two to three times better than previous models. So let's have a little look what's inside the packet. So first up, you're going to receive your pair of turbo blankets, either in titanium or carbon fibre. You're also going to receive the retaining springs, as well as a nice Funk Motorsport keyring. And probably most importantly, you're going to receive a product guide. I thoroughly recommend reading this cover to cover. It's got a lot of useful information in there as do's, don'ts, and actually why turbo blankets work and how they can be of benefit to yourself. Other things that you may end up need to fit include a pair of pliers, like you see here. Some people use a spring to pull at all, but it comes down to personal preference. If you've got sensitive hands, I'd thoroughly recommend wearing gloves throughout the entire procedure. Now, let's see how to fit them. So first up, you're going to need to match up what blanket goes to what turbo. We're going to be working on the forward facing turbo just for now. And the same principles apply for both. They just look slightly different. Okay, so as always, I'm going to be looking to start with the hardest to reach anchor points first. So if you want to just secure your springs in place, these are actually going to be tucked around the back. So it'll be a little bit easier to fit those now. And you'll see what I mean a little bit later on. So you just fit those just in there nice and securely. And first up, you need to feed that underneath your actuator arm. It's very, very important that it goes underneath your actuator arm. And as you continue to fit this, everything will kind of fall in place quite nicely. So that there actually goes around the back, back side of the, the uh, downpipe, like you see here. And whilst you're doing that, continue to feed the blanket through uh, underneath the actuator arm. Okay, so you, what you'll find now, when you've got that sat in place quite nicely, that will actually sit quite nicely around the, uh, the manifold portion, like we see here. Provide a nice insulation between the hot side and, and the manifold as well, to the uh, compressor housing. Don't worry about fitment too much now. We're definitely going to be able to finesse that a little bit later on. But then once you've got that just wrapped around the downpipe quite nicely, secure your first anchor point, which you'll find just here, to the spring just here. Okay, so that one there should be fairly easy to reach and fairly easy to get to. So the other one, it will be a little bit trickier to get to. Okay, so if you actually look down the gap just here, and this is why I, I definitely recommended that we fit those springs beforehand, and you'll see there that the, the, the other spring that we fitted earlier, which actually needs to pass through this gap and fit onto the anchor point again. You will definitely need your pliers or your spring pull at all for this. Once you have that, you just need to pass underneath this actuator arm and to the anchor point that we secured earlier. I'll just do that now. So once that's all, all secure in place, now's the time to start to finesse the turbo blanket just so it sits exactly how you like it. So as you can see here, it's overhanging the turbo slightly. So if you just give that a nice pull, just to get that sitting nicely in place. You can do this throughout, throughout the core, as well as the underside. Once that's done, the forward facing turbo is actually nice and insulated, it's done. Let's move on to the rearward one. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the other turbo. Okay, this is a very similar shape, just slightly larger on the bottom. And again, we're gonna begin by fitting the hardest to fit springs first. Once that's done, we're gonna to start to feed that underneath the actuator like before. It's a little bit trickier because it is a little bit larger, but just take your time and you'll get there. Okay, once we get to about here, start to feed the blanket around the manifold and you really start to understand and appreciate how well the blanket will work against the cold side because of the close proximity of the two there. As before, feed the blanket around the downpipe as you can see, something just like this. And this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky, okay? So as before, we worried about trying to get the spring through this little hole. Again, we need to do that again and fasten it onto this anchor point just here. Once that's in place, continue to feed the blanket around the downpipe exit and then begin to secure the second spring in place, just like you see here. Once you're happy that both the springs are connected, really start to manipulate the turbo blanket, just so that it covers most of the, uh, most of the turbo, 
and it's sitting quite nicely so that you're happy with it. As you can see here, we've intentionally selected the root of the springs just so that there's, there's no interference with the actuator. So there we have it. We fitted the BMW M4, M3 and M2 competition pack twin turbo turbo blankets. These cover both the turbos and the manifolds. These typically help to reduce engine bay heat soak, increase reliability of the surrounding components of these blankets, as well as increase the power efficiency. If you want to learn a little bit more about the Mark III turbo blanket and its construction found in this video, hit the link above. If you've got any other questions, find us at funkworkswalk.com.